Good morning fellow dragon fruit growers, this is Paul and today I'm going to do a review on Soul Kitchen White. This fruit weighs one and a quarter pounds or 573 grams. Now you can see this beautiful fruit here and there's something that actually got me pretty good last night when I picked it hopefully you could see the spines there. So this variety has spines on two spots at the base and they're very sharp. They pierced my skin and made me bleed a bit. Ow, I just got it again. And it also cracked yesterday. Now, multiple sources uh, report that this Hylocerus undatus is self-fertile. I haven't tested that yet. And people report that this is a great flavored fruit and it's the least earthy aftertaste of the whites. This is on day 43 when it cracked. So it was 43 days on the vine. I was checking every day, so it split sometime in that morning, or by the time I got to it in the afternoon, it had split. So there you go, nice, pretty color of white flesh. It's quite a bit of seeds, but they're smaller. And it's reported that this fruit tastes the best if it's cross-pollinated, like I cross-pollinated this flower. So we'll see how it tastes. Let's go ahead and just give it a shot. I'm excited to try this white. This is the first white flesh dragon fruit that I've grown from my house. And it's decent. It's got kind of a lemony flavor. So it's definitely not that sweet. And it's enjoyable. A lot of people say, a lot of growers use this just for a pollen source in their collection. Mm. It's good, but I can definitely tell you it's not going to be a winner this season. A little bit on the bland side, personally, for my tastes. I'd take a sugar dragon in a heartbeat over this thing. But let's give it a brick score and see. Now, I may pull out this plant. I'll probably give it another season or two. But I may pull out this plant and replace it with something a bit more enjoyable like I'll straight up give this fruit about a 6 out of 10 maybe a yeah 6 out of 10 so I would not grow this one <laughs> I would not recommend it maybe in a year just two when the plants bigger it's gonna be sweeter but it's hard to find a really enjoyable white in my opinion all right let's read this So 13.5. Now, it's reported, you can see here on Matt's landscaping, that he said that he got it up to in the 17s, which would be a pretty sweet fruit. But 13.5, 13 and 13 and is on the lower end of the bricks, in my opinion. And that's why it just tastes kind of lemony, I guess is a good description. I mean, it's got some sweetness. It's definitely not earthy. So it's got a nice finish. The seeds are not earthy in flavor. It's kind of like a slight lemony vibe. Melon and lemon. I'm liking it more and more as I eat it. But again, I'm gonna give this like a six out of 10. There's much better dragon fruit out there than Soul Kitchen White. So there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. And hopefully I will continue on my quest for better tasting white fruit. And hopefully we can check back with something much sweeter in the future. All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. It is a beautiful fruit.